Let's open the Bible, the book of Luke, chapter 7. Luke chapter 7, we are going to take our reading from verse 21, 31, and 32. Marlene Zupra Gabia. We are going to read it together, the two verse. One, two, three, go. And the Lord said, Where unto them shall I liken to the men of this generation? And to what are they like? Verse 32. They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace, calling one to another and saying, We have piped unto you, and you have not danced. We have poured all to you, and you have not been taught to fight with it, and not my music. Tell somebody, it's not my music. It's not my music. Hallelujah. Take your seat. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. We pray may you bring our revelation of your word, and may you speak to us this morning. Holy Spirit, take control. I'm just your servant. I don't have any power of my own. Lord, use me to be a blessing to your people. Put your word into my mouth. Throw your weight around in this place and glorify yourself in Jesus' name. We pray. I'm preaching what I title is not my music. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. People of God, for the past last one week today, it was five days that God has been putting in my mind and lay this particular scripture into my heart. Hallelujah. The Lord has been laying this scripture in my heart and I discover some certain things that have happened in our generation. I begin to understand why Paul sometimes says, the things I want to do, I cannot do. But the things I know was not want to do, it is things I am doing. Hallelujah. And the Lord began to take me and took me to this particular scripture. It was a parable Jesus was speaking to the Pharisees and the children of God. But you can study from John, from this Luke chapter 7 from verse 1, which I'm going to explain in the first service, second service. But I just want to pick some certain things in this second service so we can use it and pray. Hallelujah. First thing I want you to know is that life is spiritual. Life is not physical. It's not, it's not physical. We must know that life is spiritual. And everything that happened in the spirit is what happened into the physical. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says in this place, Jesus was speaking something. And why was Jesus speaking what he was saying in this scripture? Say, what, how can I say about this particular generation? Jesus is talking at the generation we are now. Hallelujah. This is a generation of tough neck. This is a generation that people are not easily convinced by what you tell them until they have to see power. Praise the Lord. Remember when Jesus, Paul, John sent some of his disciples from the back scriptures, Paul, John sent the disciples to go and ask Jesus, are you the Messiah coming or are we still waiting for the one to come? And Jesus did not respond at that moment. But the disciples were there and began to watch what Jesus was doing. He was he healed the sick, he raised the dead, he cast out demons. Dog were able to speak. That was the reply he gave to the disciples of John. He said, Go and tell John that the eye, the blind can see, the deaf can hear, the dumb can talk. Because in this generation today, actions speak louder than voice. Hallelujah. So people don't just go to church anymore. People want to see what can give them answer into this generation. People want to do what they can give the result into the generation. That's why there are young people today who are into in, uh, who, who are into sign, who are into internet scamming. And they are not just doing it ordinarily because they make sure they call their clients. They make sure they get pictures for their clients. They do, there is something they call Yahweh Plus. They do all manner of things spiritually. 
and they will sit in their laptop and they are talking to you and you are sending them money because life is spiritual hallelujah people don't just go to whatever they cannot see any result that's why till today even believers who are still believers still go to which doctor because they need result i pray for someone today you will not live here without the result in the name of jesus christ and jesus got to this place and he was trying to explain was trying to talk about the generation he said and the lord said where unto then shall i like it this man of this generation he said they he said to what to what are they like this is jesus asking to what are they like how are these men and he explained he answered the question by himself because nobody was able to answer the question he said they are like all two children sitting in the marketplace make sure you underline the place marketplace because there is something i want to explain about marketplace hallelujah the bible says little children sitting in the marketplace so you must understand how powerful how it be for little children sitting in the marketplace but now what jesus was saying in this place he was not saying these people are little children he said these people are behaving like little children hallelujah so when he said they are behaving like little children it means they are sitting in the marketplace like innocent that they understand, they understand what they are doing in the marketplace. What is a marketplace? A marketplace is a place of transaction. Hallelujah. A marketplace is a place of transaction, selling and buying. Destiny is being sold in marketplace. And by destiny are being bought in marketplace. Stars are being sold in marketplace. And stars are being bought in marketplace. A marketplace is a place that every transaction, a marketplace is an altar that all kind of forces. Remember, marketplace, every people of Babikatas can talk about all believers. Many of them have done a lot of charm. So a marketplace has become a place of ritual. So all the time Jesus' ministry, Jesus always go to the marketplace. Hallelujah. Because if you conquer the marketplace, you have conquered the church. If you conquer the marketplace, you have conquered the world. What is the marketplace? The marketplace is the world we are living today. Hallelujah. The world is a marketplace because there are a lot of transactions in the world. That Jesus was saying is a parable. He said, we are not of this world. We are from above. Hallelujah. He says, when Jesus was speaking, I think he was speaking the book of I think John, John chapter 3, I think verse 19. He said, in the world you shall have tribulation. Why was he saying tribulation? Because the world is a marketplace. It's a place of transaction. It's a place that everyone wants to make it by all cause. So you must understand, if Jesus can call it a marketplace, it's not a market you can see people sell physical. It's a market people straight spiritual. Am I talking to somebody? There was a time in the Bible, in the book of, I think the book of Genesis chapter 28, when you study from verse 16 to 17, there was a time that Joseph was running away. I'm talk, I just want to explain to you how powerful the world is. It's a marketplace. Joseph was running away from his brother. I mean, uh, uh, Jacob was running away from his brother. And the Bible says he got to a place, and Jacob awake out of his sleep. And he said, surely, the law is in this place, and I know it not. This is a particular place he went and slept when he was running from his brother. And the Bible says he discovered, go to the 17, and he saw that angels were moving to and fro. And he was afraid and said, how dreadful is this place? This is not other than the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. Hallelujah. Because there were transactions operating. The second place I want to show you about the marketplace, if you study John chapter 5, if you see from verse 2, the Bible says, there was in John chapter 5, verse 2, said, now there was a, the, the, now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pole. So God at the sheep market, a sheep market, a pole, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, the cider, the fire, the, the ham, that that the side that having five portions, hallelujah. And the Bible says, verse 3 
listening to what the Bible says in verse 3. And this lay a great multitude of important frauds of blind, hit, weather, waiting for the move of the water. So the marketplace is a place that they were bringing people who were disabled. They were bringing sick people. And in that same marketplace, it was a place that the pool of healing was also there. Am I talking to somebody? So it's a place of transaction. It's a place of, 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 of promotion. It's a place of increase. It's a place of blessing. Number one, if we go to marketplace, we go normally to a marketplace, what do you go to do? You go to sell. If you go to a marketplace, what do you go to go do? You go to buy. Hallelujah. Either you go to buy or you go to sell. So you must understand when Jesus was speaking about the marketplace, it's a place of power. And the church has neglected the marketplace. Hallelujah. The church has neglected the marketplace. The church has to get to the marketplace. If you want to conquer this world as the church, you must go to the marketplace. You must understand that until you have taken dominion in the marketplace, you cannot take, you cannot have, you cannot possess the profession. Hallelujah. Until you have taken dominion in the marketplace. So Jesus was explaining how this generation operates. How the generation operates. How the people of the world operate. So that we go to the marketplace. They will sit like little child. And now they'll begin to pipe people. Hallelujah. They say, I have piped you for you to dance as you have refused to dance. You, sometimes you can feel about this dancing is just a they say a normal dance. A dance that you are dancing against your own will is not a real dance. Am I talking to somebody? If you start begin to play me music for me to dance, I am dancing your music. I'm not dancing my music. That's why I say my title is not my music. I pray for someone. I don't know the music you have been dancing, but hear me today after this service. I that music is over in the name of Jesus Christ. The amazing that they can be piping you. You are dancing the music of poverty. The amazing you can be dancing. You are dancing the music of, of prostitution. Do you think young beautiful ladies will go into prostitution? Is it normal? No. There is a music that they are playing in the spirit for them. Hallelujah. When you see people run mad, there is a music they are playing for them. So somebody has piped the music of madness. When you see people are under addiction of drinking, there is a pipe of music they have piped them. Addiction of drunkenness. So people of God, we live in the spiritual world that even the people of the world understood Hallelujah. They say we have piped unto him. He has refused to dance. You will never dance any wrong music in the name of Jesus. You will never dance what is not your music in the name of Jesus. You will only dance the music that is played for by God into your life. He says we have piped unto you and you have not danced. We have called to you and you have not weep. Have you not realized that there are some people when you talk to them today and they sleep the next day like they are dead? Has it never happened to you? You talk with somebody and the next minute you are calling, they say the person passed away in the night. He was not sick. I've experienced it. Hallelujah. There was a morning. I pray for you. I don't know who is morning you before you are done. They will mourn their own self. Amen. They will mourn their own self. Amen. I don't know who is mourning your family member. They will mourn their own self in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So we have mourned you and you have not weep. People of God, we live in the wicked way. Hallelujah. Amen. We live in the wicked way that every child of God must be arrogant. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Matthew 11, 12, the kingdom of God suffered violence. 
only the violence take it by force. In this generation, you must be violent. Because people are looking for your destiny. Hallelujah. In this generation, people are not looking for cattle to trade with. They look for destiny to trade with. People are not looking for, for, for cow to trade with. They look for, for stars to trade with. This is the kind of generation we live in. That people want to make it by all costs. So people of God, the marketplace, if you are a believer, you have not understood the power of the marketplace. I explained to you that the marketplace is a place of God where transactions are being taken. And the well itself is a marketplace. So every time Jesus visits, in Acts chapter 17, verse 17, you see what the Bible says. When Paul was praying one way time, he said, and therefore, the deputy, he, he in the synagogue, with the Jews and with the devout person and in the market daily with them that met with him. So even the people, the leaders, the teachers of the gospel, whatever they do, they must go back to the marketplace. That is where they get their victory. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus says, the only that we go out and they dress in a very nice way. They dress in a very nice way. In Mark chapter 12, verse 38, Jesus said they will look very nice with good clothes just to deceive people because they get their victory in the market. So people of God, even believers today, if you have not gone out to the marketplace, you are waiting for increase. You are wasting your time. Hallelujah. Mark chapter 12, verse 38. In believers, you have not gone out to the marketplace. He said, and he said unto them in his doctrine, beware of the scribe which love to go in long clothes and loves salutation in the marketplace. Hallelujah. So whatever, they will make sure they look very nicely. Where will they go? To the marketplace. So people of God, if we are sitting in the house and expect people to come into this house, we are wasting our, our time. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we have in Matthew chapter 20, verse 3. A marketplace I say is a place of trading. It's a place that people. Jesus, verse 3, the Bible says, Jesus find another man that was idle in the marketplace. Why was this man idle in the marketplace? His destiny was being traded. He said, for uh, Jesus, verse 3, and he went out about the tenth hour and saw others standing idle in the market. So Jesus was a constant visitor in the marketplace. After the synagogue or the temple, he would go back to the marketplace. Because that is where he was able to gather his people. Hallelujah. So people of God, for us to gather the people of God, we must go to the marketplace. Why the marketplace is a great place for Christians? Number one, all, all, all Christian, almost all non-Christian are in the marketplace. All non-Christian are in the marketplace. That is where they trade. That is where they do their own things. That is where they make their money. That is where they get their connection. All non-Christian. So if believers, when Jesus was speaking that we have to be a sheep in the wolf, carry the cloth of a wolf and enter into the marketplace. Hallelujah. That is only where we can get it. Bring the people back to the kingdom. Now, why was Jesus explaining about this generation? When you go further, the Bible says in verse 20, 33, 
He says, after he says, he said, they pipe unto you and you and you have not danced. We have poured unto you and you have not weep. Verse 33 says, For John the Baptist came, better eating bread than drinking wine, and you say, He had a devil. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking, and you say, Behold, a glutton, man of a weak, weak, weak people, a friend of publican, a sinner. But the stentify is a but wisdom is justified of all her children. Listen to what Jesus was explaining in this place. The first thing you must understand when Jesus was trying to explain, he was talking about John. Because when the disciples came and asked Jesus that John has sent us, are you the Messiah? Are you the one that's supposed to come or are we still waiting? Jesus told the disciples. Go and tell John that blind see the lame walk, all these things has happened. And when the disciple went now, Jesus now began to speak to the crowd. Jesus never condemned John. Jesus now began to explain to the people, what were you going to the wilderness to see? Hallelujah. He was explaining to them, what were you going to the wilderness to see? To see a man that is dressed with a, or with rag or what? Or to see a man that was eating, he said, People who dress with us to see a man who is dressed with a purple and a nice gown. And Jesus says, People who dress with that nice, nice gown, they stay in king palace. Say, But you were going there to see a prophet. And Jesus says, It's not just a prophet, it's more than a prophet. So in that place, Jesus was telling the people that this job you are seeing is more than a prophet. Hallelujah. The one thing he says, he said, but the one that is least in the kingdom is greater than John. Why? He said, let no man be offended about the Son of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So Jesus says, let no man be offended about the Son of Man. Because the question John asked, that Jesus was trying to explain to the people. And if you look to, if you look what Jesus was saying in that place, John came to preach repentance. And preparing for the way of the Lord. Jesus now came with the message of salvation and taking us to the kingdom. So the two messages, it was one. But the people, the Bible says, the people refused the message. The teachers and the lawyers, they refused the message. The publican, they accepted the message. When you go further, the Bible says in verse 16, that even the, 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 the teachers and the public, they refuse to be baptized by John. Hallelujah. They refuse to be baptized by John because of their religion, because of their own knowledge about the things of God. So they're able to deny John and they deny Jesus. So Jesus was saying, now John came to this life. He could not even eat. He was a man of fasting. He stayed in the wilderness. And you still call him a devil. Okay, now we have come. Now I'm eating. I'm, 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 I'm associating with you people. You still call me also a demon. You call me now a glutton. That I'm eating so much because I'm eating with you. So no matter people of God, he says so the people who will only accept this gospel are people who are wise. Hallelujah. That's why he ended by saying, he says in that in verse 35, he said, but wisdom is justified of all her children. So people of God, when you receive the gospel of Christ, is the great wisdom. Hallelujah. When you study Isaiah chapter 29, when you see from verse 12 to 14, God was, as the prophet Isaiah was saying something to the people of God. Isaiah 29 verse 12 to 14. He says, and the book is delivered to him. That is not learned. Say, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learning. Verse 13. He said, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips, do honor me that have removed their heart far from me, and their fear towards me is taught by them. Person of men. These are the Pharisees. These are the teachers. Verse 14. 
And the Lord said, therefore, behold, I will possess to do a marvelous work among these people. Even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of their wise men shall perish. The wisdom of their wise men shall perish. And the understanding of their prudent men shall be healed. Hallelujah. So Jesus was speaking about these people. They refused the wisdom of God. They refused the message of repentance. They received the for they refused the forgiveness of sin. So they were there accusing Jesus, calling Jesus' name. So that's why Jesus got to that place. He said, How can I like in this generation? He said they are men who they have decided to pretend to be like a child. But they have another intention. They want people to follow their ways. So when they pipe you, they want you to dance on their tune. They want you to walk on their system. Hallelujah. When they pipe you, they want you to behave, they follow the way they are saying, the tradition, not the wisdom of God. So Jesus was explaining, this is the kind of generation today that people are preaching and trying to focus people to them, not to God. That people look, they will present themselves holy and wonderful, but their heart is not with God. Hallelujah. They just try to entice people by what they speak, but their heart is not with God. So Jesus said, this is the kind of generation that every child of God, if you are not sensitive, you will fall into Trouble. If you are a child of God, you are not sensitive, you will fall into their doctrine because they will pipe you with their words. Hallelujah. They will pipe you and you will begin to dance in their own tomb. So Jesus said, This is the kind of generation they go to the marketplace, they want to make people to be the way they want them to be. But the children who are wise. The children of God will refuse to fall into their trap. The children of God will refuse to follow their ways. That's why today we have all kinds of systems of preaching, of gospel. People are turning. If you see the way they are turning, they are not after the, they are not after the people in the marketplace. They are after the people in the church. So church is divided by itself. Church is fighting itself. Men of God will preach against another man of God. Men of God will take message from another man of God to preach. Hallelujah. So they are not going out to the marketplace. Instead for them to go out to the marketplace for the people that they need to bring to the kingdom. Now they are manipulating the same people who are already in the kingdom by their first doctrine. The lawyers and the Pharisees. The Bible says, We have piped you. This is the generation God wants us to be spiritual so you cannot be easily piped by the manipulation. Galatia 3, verse 1 says, Who have bewitched you, foolish Galatia? This was a manipulation. Somebody was piping them. Hallelujah. They were dancing at the tune of that person. There was a man who had a great follower in Nigeria. People follow him, a lot of great friend followers. And people saw him, they know that he was the Messiah. Until one day he carried all the media that he's going to die and come back in three days. And they say, We are waiting. So he carried the people. Everybody went to a mountain with the media. They said, The people, is, old people will go, they are going to shoot him and they will bury him. And they will rise up in three days. And everybody said, Wow, people were happy. And conclusion, the whole church followed him to the mountain. And he speak because media was taking the camera, everything. He gave God to one of his boys. He said, Shoot him. The boy did not even shoot. If the boy did not even shoot the leg, he shoot the heart. Hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> With all assurance that the man is going to come back. Shooting the man fall down and die. 
cover the body. So it's not good for them to bother to bury him because we did it the ground again with the waste of time. Then we just keep him for three days time will come back alive. And they will dance him for that three days. Dancing and dancing and waiting for their desire to rise up. All of them were sweating. When the three days was about over, the place was stinky. They were sweating. They developed courage, so much courage and keep on dancing. For the three days passed, he said maybe he wanted to add one more day. They danced four days. They said, no, maybe he says Jesus rested in six days. Let them just try six days. They danced six days. Number seven days, all of them carried their back. Hallelujah. And this man was having a lot of followers. When I came to Kenya, I heard that there was also a man in Kenya that was all the time trying to say where we have to fly. The people will be holding his neck. Is that not so? Jesus was good. <laughs> Hallelujah. His people believed in him and extent that they were thinking that he was a Jesus man. Jehovah 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 So we deceiving them all the time. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to hold his leg. You are not going anywhere. You don't know yet. Hallelujah. You think that people people will fall, will believe in that kind of without a man, without a force behind? No. There is something behind. That's why you see every child of God must go into the spirit. He well. says, souls are those who are led by the spirit. You must be in that place that you can be led. And remember, Jesus said, I will not leave you empty. I will send you the comforter who is the Holy Spirit. He said, we teach you all things. And he said, by their fruit, we shall know them. So when you have the spirit of God, he can detect to tell you that this spirit, this fruit is not the right fruit. How can I like in this generation? They are like men that sit in the marketplace. They sit like little children. Now I begin to understand when Elijah was coming back after receiving the double portion, the first people who attacked Elijah was the little children. Now you understand they were not little children. Because it were little, if it was little children, they will sue Elijah. These are men who came out like little children. To attack Elijah. 42 of them have been commanded there to come and give them. People of God, those who fight you, they look like little children. Those who are killing you, they look innocent before you. I pray for you today. I don't know who have been misguided himself, hiding in face for you not to know them, and killing you behind. After this service today, they will be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. They will be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. From today, they will begin to dance their music. Amen. They will begin to mold their body. Amen. They will begin to dance their music. Amen. They will begin to mold their body Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 16, it says, what, what, is, what, what is not necessary to give wisdom to a fool? Hallelujah. It says, what for, is there a pride, a price? The house of the fool to get wisdom. See, he had no heart to eat. That's why you see in this generation today, there are people, no matter how you try to correct, to tell them the right thing. Hallelujah. They do not follow. So, Jesus, whatever the miracle he did, the Pharisees still call it. They still call him demon. Remember, before this Luke chapter 7, all along from Luke chapter 7, 7 to this place, Jesus was talking about these people. He was just doing miracles. The first thing was happening is that he was coming to a city, and the Bible said there was a centurion whom the servant was sick. Is that not so? Yes. And, met, and they sent people to go and call for Jesus. And Jesus was about going. The man said the good news said, Jesus, don't come to my house. When I say life is spiritual, mm -hmm. he said, Don't come to my house. Amen. I'm a man also under authority. Amen. Amen. Is that also? Say, so I tell this one to move, is move. Amen. I tell this one to go, is they go. Say, so you just you just need to say the word. And my servant will be So people of what you must know that there are people who build their house and manipulate you. Amen. Amen. 
Do you know that I was asking Holy Ghost in this John chapter 8, what happened to the woman that was caught in her adultery? Mm. I said, what was the most, where was the man? And the Lord spoke to me, he was under manipulation. That's why he could not speak. How can you catch an actor, an actress without an actor? And the actress will keep quiet and it's going to be, and you know that it's going to be killed. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. How can somebody keep quiet? He will not say, where is the man? Because the law says when two of them are being caught, they have to kill both of them. And he, she alone was being caught. And she kept quiet. You must know that something was manipulating him. That's why Jesus had to interfere. Mm. Anytime you see manip manipulation, you see Jesus in action. When the Bible says in the book of Job, Job chapter 5, verse 12, he disappoints the device of the captain. So their hands shall not perform their interprets. How did they do it? How are they doing this thing? They do some manipulation. There are people that will go to front and exam hall and on go, go for it. The people that will go for front in and interview, there will be nothing for them to see. I read my Bible in the book of Second Samuel like that. There was a man that was running to go and give David a message. Concern, have you read in the Bible? Concerning uh, the, the Absalom who is dead. And he was running and running. But when he get before David, David said, this is a good man. He has a good title for me. When he went before David, he could not say anything. The Bible says, shift aside. And somebody came behind him and spoke what he was supposed to say. What? How can you be before your head by you don't know what to say? Mm. What can I do for you? I want to go to the village. My mother is sick. <laughs> is that the reason you want to see your head by? Something manipulation. manipulation. Yeah. I pray for you today. I don't know who is fighting you. I don't know who is manipulating your life. But after today, that manipulation is over in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. I said last time that there are people that they will be in a place of of, of, of a breakthrough right. in the place of connection that is when they will do one foolish thing hallelujah I was telling you before that one of my daughter went for a date to a man a man took and the man has told me that I want to marry this girl and he invited her in a date and they sat down the man just asked her one question eh, well, how many boyfriends do you have you dated the boy was the girl begin to name eh, I, I date Philip I did uh, Lucas, I did this, I did this. In the front of the man, she mentioned about the something boyfriend. The tea the man was drinking, the man began to shake. Praise the Lord. She named, name, name, name. She, I did, she did say, I forget some other words. The man said, Ha, ah, you are very straightforward. I like truthful person. That was the end about the meeting. The man said, Why would I marry somebody that they are finished with her? The bread is and she was explaining how, you know, it's if just maybe you date somebody, you just meet them, and maybe you talk to them. But she was explaining, I dated this one for two months. I dated this one for one month. I dated this one for three months. I dated this one for two weeks. I dated this one. And it was mentioned. It's like he went there with a diary. <laughs> After when she's finished saying all those things, that's when she realized it. Hey, what have I done? <laughs> Hallelujah. Manipulation. Hallelujah. As I'm talking, there are some people you will punk, you will put your package yourself. The day you go for out for a day to a man, that's the day you will go, you will eat like like somebody who has not eaten for two weeks. You will take this one, they bring salad you chop, they bring yogurt you drink, they bring juice you drink, the man even buy his chips and chicken, you throw the chicken, you chop again, you take again, bug again. The man will just be watching you. Say finish and go. Praise the Lord. Then after what you have done, you say, what did I do? I pray for you. I don't know who is piping you. I don't know who is piping you. But that piping is over in the name of Jesus. That music you have been dancing is not your music. It is over in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. People of God, life is spiritual. Hallelujah. Life is spiritual. It's not your music. Praise the Lord. It's not your music. Amen. 
I say it's not your music. Amen. You will not dance it anymore. Amen. It is not your music. Amen. You will not dance it anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The lady told me, Papa, I somebody promised me. She came here, she was telling me, Papa, somebody promised me for a job. And I went to, we talked very well, and she told me to come to the office. So when I went to the office, the person was, the person came outside after they have given my name. The person came outside and looked at me. Asked me, do I know you before? He said, we were yesterday, we talked yesterday. I said, no, liar. <laughs> Talk with who yesterday? He said, we talked yesterday, you didn't tell me to call. The person said, hey, 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 I don't know you, please. Send him away, send, send her away. She said, she left that place and she was, she was she, I don't know about that she's in the church. She left that place, she was crying. She said, ah, is he not the person I met? He said, now what finally made her shock? He, her boss said, my daughter, said, my sister, you are really suffering. She said, I want to increase you, as, increase you so that you can even, your salary can increase. She said, I'm taking 20 of my own people who are behind me. I want to hand them to you so that you can send them so that they can be behind you to, to carry a proper work. So he called 20 of his people, said, come, come. He said, please, this is my colleague. I just want to sign a position behind him. So he carried them and put them in one room for them to sign. So that he went there. This my daughter went there. She said she took the paper. When she filled all their name, all. So she was all of them have their file. So when she filled out, she was going for them to sign. The first one look. I don't think I'll sign today. I'll sign today. What is the signing today? He said, he told me, he said, okay, let me manage my thing. He said, wait for the next one. Why will I sign for you? Something they have agreed already. He said, all the 20, they refuse. He said, the funniest thing that the rest of the people took the paper, they tear it, which they have already filled it. They tear the paper in front of him, they press it like this, throw it into those people. That's where she knows that something is wrong with her. That's where she knows that something is wrong with her. Somebody is piping. So when she went back to the boss, the boss said, You are all trouble. <laughs> Come, let me come into our church. Say that nah, I'm not spiritual. They have understood that something is wrong with you. People of God, have you not realized that? Sometimes, many appointments you will have. The moment you go with an appointment you have prepared, the moment you go to that appointment, everything will turn. You start feeling like if you have not started anything. It's like the beginning. They'll begin to ask you questions as if you are starting something that's fresh. Who is piping you? I pray for you today. They will play their music and dance their music. Amen. They will play their music and dance their music. Amen. You will not dance their music anymore. Amen. You will not dance their music anymore. Amen. You will not dance your music anymore. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Every music they have been playing over your life from today. It expire in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I told one of my sons that that's why you see sometimes some people can be doing something and they are bound for a place or a breakthrough. They will play the Mamba music. They will leave this. They will leave this thing now. They start a black journey again. Is that not so? They will start a black journey again. In the place of breakthrough again, they will play the Mamba music. That is a music of not finishing. They will play another music again. They change. Better if you want to dance blues, dance blues to the end. <laughs> if you want to dance reggae, dance reggae to the end. I thank God for some people who are still on reggae. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Dance reggae to the end. Don't dance blues, you dance reggae. You dance Makosa. You dance rock and roll. You want. You can never be a, a, a good dancer when you are dancing many music. So what the enemy will do is to play you many music at the same time. I pray for you to stand on your feet. 
Say, my father, my maker. Say, my father, my maker. As I begin to pray, from today, I refuse to dance any music contrary to my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like order. I refuse to dance any music that is against my truth of destiny. In the name of Jesus. You are going to pray to God. Father, stop every evil music playing over my life. Amen. There are some of you that there are evil music playing. Let me tell you, the music of poverty makes many people strive. One thing I understand about the music of poverty makes you become busy body. Mm. Hallelujah. Do you know that? Yes. Busy body, mm. that is the music of poverty. When you see let me tell you something. That's why you see, if I don't have anything uh, useful or fruitful, you cannot see me move my house. Hallelujah, Father. Yeah, you don't see us move. Anything that does not benefit us, I don't waste my energy. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, very clear in the book of Proverbs, a wise man will see trouble ahead and go ahead. You cannot be everywhere. You cannot be all the time because if you are everywhere, even your value is reduced. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's why you see the sons who are led by the Spirit we only go where they are being led. Let me tell you the truth. If you you see, I attended a meeting in this uh, Apostle Selma, I found the Lord. Remember first. Remember first. Didn't I benefit something? When we did you benefit something? There is something you know that you went there and achieved. So there are, when we talk about there are places you go busy, but you just go and you will not, you will come back. There is you cannot even pick one thing to say, this is what I benefit. That is what called busy body. It's the music of poverty. Hallelujah. I told you that I used to have that kind of, that spirit used to upon you, walk upon me seriously. That I told you before. Me, I'm not a somebody who lies. I said, I used to go places. I would just go to Beria, go to all kind of, uh, kind of, kind of, uh, of uh, wedding that I don't even know. <laughs> when I used to remember that thing, I said, God, and I will tire. When I come back, no matter how pity, they're very tired. <laughs> I say, go on. I say, when will when, 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 when this music stop playing on my head? Cameroonian want to join in that side place. You are seeing me there. Prophet Paul is mixing himself alone. My wife told me one day, said, police will arrest you. Because I was not always at home. Praise the Lord. Amen. Busy, I'm busy. I told my son, no, 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 I thank God he has changed. He has changed for me. He used to move like a short. Like flying, the, I don't know, it's flying squat. <laughs> he was moving like flying squat. Yeah! Before he went to the boys, he moved. But when he himself came and sat, I said, ah! <laughs> See, sometimes you can come, I'm sitting with him, you will come, wouldn't it? Sometimes I'm not just, I'm not trying to expose his secret. You will call him, you will look at your phone. You will look like this. You put a phone as sight. You put a phone as sight. To be still, I just said, Good, thank you, Jesus. The music has stopped. <laughs> Before that flies caught. <laughs> Hallelujah. At the end of the day, maybe you have your small 1000. You are finishing for transport. You are finishing and you will but now, if you are a man of the spirit, you program yourself. You know that any meeting you go out, you must come back with something. Hallelujah. You must come back with something. So, you see, 
That's why I see sometimes, even for me, when I'm planning to come for counseling, you see when they give me my, they book the appointment for me, I check the appointment, I pray. Holy Ghost say, this one, don't bother. I said, no, go. Because every, my time living God and coming to church is 2,500. Praise the Lord. So why would I use 2,500 and come to somebody who say, I eat the beans, I eat the omena, and the thing turned my stomach. So I carry my 2,5. To come and listen to that kind of thing. So I was just listening. I was just Holy Spirit said, Don't go today. I said, Thank you, sir. I was just tell my wife that today we are not going anywhere. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So people of God, these are the things that you must do. You don't just any small occasion. If your friend is doing birthday for a small chihuahua, you will attend it. You will attend it. You can you are you are going to pray. Lord, stop every demonic music in my mind. Amen. Demonic music. When I was watching the uh, immigration, I was not watching the state house, uh, the TV that uh, that did uh, that immigration. Did immigration. Yeah. I saw all kind of faces in state house. They are moving there like masculine. I said, "Everybody has put his head like this." <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> I was watching. I said, "God," and the man, many of them left the place with nothing. No connection. <laughs> Even the phone number they pick, some of them they will never. You see, let me tell you something. People will give you phone number, but they they, are, they 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 have right to pick your call. Am I saying the truth? Yeah, yeah. These big people will give you phone number. You will call them till they kingdom come. When we went there, did I not receive one man of God? Did I not receive a man of God phone number? Have I not called? You will call T. So having somebody phone number does not change the fact that he will pick your call. People who have programmed themselves who know they don't waste their time. They take their time. Unless you have something to show. People only look for you when you have something to show. So the best thing for you to do is to build yourself, build Amen. your capacity. Amen. They will look for you. Amen. Am I talking to somebody? Yeah. They will look for you. Yeah. Don't begin to look for people if you have not built their own capacity. Amen. Let me tell you true. There's a simple truth. Amen. No matter how you dress and look good, people want to see your pocket. They want to hear your name. Yeah. They want to build something about you. So better you hide mm. that they should not know what is happening to you. So anytime they see you come out, they give you honor. Before they see again, you disappear. Spirit of busybody will make you run like mad dog. My father, my maker. My father, my, my, father, my maker. My father, my as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray. Every spirit, every spirit, every music, every music, the morning music, the morning music over, my life, over my life from today, Lord. From today. Quench it, Lord. Quench it, Lord. Close the music. Close the music. Deliver me from it. Deliver me from Stop the music. Stop the music. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like thunder. Stop the music, Lord. Stop the music, Lord. Stop the music, Lord. Stop the music, Lord. Stop the music. The magic music. Over my life. Oh Lord, stop it. Oh Lord, stop it. Stop the music. 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 Lord, 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 stop the music. Every demonic music over my life. Oh, Lord, stop it. Oh, Lord, stop it. Oh, Lord, stop it. Oh, Lord, stop it. Music for my father's house. Music from my mother's house. Lord, stop it. Lord, stop it. Music from my family. Music from my maternal home. Music from my maternal home. Oh, Lord, stop the music. 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 Oh,
the music. Oh Lord, stop 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 the music. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. That music is stopped over your life in the name of Jesus. People of God, I believe this Bible says we should learn from Jesus. We can we understand very clearly that Jesus was the Son of God. But there was a time in life that he disappeared. Nobody knows about him. Is that also? Yes. 18 years. Then three years he was able to manifest everything. Let me tell you to the people of God, place value to yourself. Make your scared, Amen. yourself to be very scarce. Amen. The time you are going broke, that's the time you make yourself to be scarce. Hallelujah. Amen. Stop just, you see, it's just because we are church. If not because of church, before I used to give it posting. Hallelujah. Stop posting yourself all the time. You remind the witches and wizards in their village. To just think that you have just got something good in your life, which you have not got in anything. Posting in Facebook and moving forward. Moving where? <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> hallelujah. We must be very careful. Hallelujah. I told you one of the greatest things I do, most of those rich people, I don't snap picture with them except I have something I've collected from them. Why would I snap, uh, snap picture with uh, Jimmy Wanjiki? We go like this. I'm finished. Before I this kid, I'm, I'm holding him like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Before I want to hold him like this, I must know something has hit that account. Am I saying the truth? Yes. Because holding him like this, everybody has seen that that's your friend. You are okay. That's your level. That's your level. So people, even to help you, you think that is an advertisement. No. People will just, even you want to go for a tender, they will ask you to pay money on all front because you know that they know you have something, you have money. Hallelujah. So these are the things we must be wisdom. These are the wisdom God is giving to his children. We must apply this wisdom. People of the world know these things. People of the world know this. But children of the kingdom don't know. They are just excited. They don't know that the spiritual control the physical. I pray for you today. Whatever has been piping you, whatever has been manipulating your life, that music is stopped from today. Amen. That music is over from today. Amen. You will do the right thing. Amen. You will not do what you don't supposed to do. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will not cry a cry that is not your cry. Amen. Anyone that has been mourning for you, they will mourn for themselves. You will celebrate. Amen. You will celebrate. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Clap for Jesus this morning. Father, we thank you, we love you. Receive back your honor, your adoration. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.